The first four books of the Bible are really one continuous story told in four volumes. And Genesis is a sort of prologue for that story. And so it finishes by preparing us for what's coming next, telling us how Israel got into Egypt in the first place, and foreshadowing that God will visit his people and will bring them to the land that he promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So we pick up in Exodus a few hundred years later. They're now in Egypt as slaves, but God remembers the covenant he made. He sees them, he knows what's going on, and he's about to act. Jeremiah also finds his people in rock bottom. They are exiled again to Egypt and Babylon at the same time. And his prophecies turn toward the other nations around Israel. Some of these nations were delighted and even had an active role in Israel's sufferings. And so God condemns them for their arrogance. He speaks of the judgment that is coming down upon them. We realize that even at this moment, God has not forgotten or disowned his people. They are still his. In the Sermon on the Mount, which we read this week, Jesus gathers his people together on a mountain. And he says to them, you have heard that it was said to those of old, but I say to you. We remember how Moses gathered Israel on Mount Sinai and spoke to them God's law. Now, Jesus is not reversing the law. He's not undoing it. Rather, he's going to the heart of it, showing them what life really looks like when we walk in love and when we live by faith. Finally, we're in the Epistle to the Romans. And in this book, we're writing to a church that has both Jews and Gentiles in it. And the Jewish Christians would have grown up believing that they were superior to other nations because they have the law, the Torah. And Paul first begins his argument by inflaming their indignation against lawless sinners, only to then give them a sort of gut-punch reality check that, no, we are all in sin. We're all in need of God's grace. He then shows that it is not hearing and knowing the law that makes us righteous, but a faith relationship with Jesus Christ that brings us true righteousness.